Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm getting old. I can't hear you. Sorry. The, 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 the importance of having to set the tone early tonight, yeah, 21 or something run in that first quarter, and get the only jump. How key was that? I mean, I felt like they never really went away until the end. I, I never felt like, oh, the game is really pivoted to the left and now we're good. You know, toward the end, it started to move in that direction, but I really never felt comfortable. Um, you know, the run that you're speaking about, I, I kind of remember it, but I don't think it had the, uh, the impact that, that, that you capitalized on and we took off from there. It was a game for the large majority of the game. Tobias really made a lot of big plays on both ends of the floor. How do you feel like his defense is really coming along there, small forward? I think I think he's moving completely in the right in the the right direction. We talk lots about um, two things, just like that maniacal competitive effort, you know, as a team, not to bias. And he always brings it. He's an incredibly prideful defensive player. Then it gets down into kind of the 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 sophisticated part of defense of game plan. You know, knowing your personnel. What's what are we doing on Demar? What are we doing on on Demarcus? Patty Mills in the game. Are we going to try to blitz him? It's it's multi-layered from a uh, from a scouting perspective, and so then you combine that effort and that competitive drive which he has with the the intellect of a game plan, and the two collide and produce team defense. And I think that he's doing really well, um, morphing into like a holistic defensive player. Patient and collected tonight. He, he did. I was glad that we didn't play him as many minutes as we, we normally do. Um, I think that I don't even know why I'm saying this. It felt like that. Like I thought that he was steady. Yeah, nice and steady. I agree. Has he got in foul trouble in that second and third quarter pretty early in the quarter? Al and Ben seem to have stepped up and sort of taken control of the game. Is, is that what Al's really here for, for those kind of moments? I think, I, I, think uh, I mean, I'll say of course, uh, but it's hard to do that, and he did do that. Uh, he was our bell ringer tonight. Al Horford was our bell ringer tonight. I thought that, that he bounced back from some games that, like, he's, he probably doesn't feel like he, he uh, had some of his best games, and he's, to me, he's always had, like, an amazing kind of presence, uh, despite what this stat sheet says. And tonight, he maintained like that leadership and toughness and veteran and produced on a stat sheet and uh, you know we win so for him it's a really good night and yes like that's what we're hoping when you go sign Al Horford. What did you make of the overall like shooting profile tonight? I think 26 three-pointers is below your season average but there was a lot of mid-range stuff that was falling earlier. Yeah I mean you, you know I pay attention to you know, the three-point attempts, I, I think, you know, Joe's the one that I'm trying to really, you know, not have him float as much. Like, I don't want him floating as much. I want him at the rim. I want him in the paint. And so, like, this, this, and he happens to be one of our best three-point shooters. But uh, I, I think the three-point shooting, you know, is something that uh, we do try to find him, but we got to the rim a lot. We got to the paint a lot. And so... Sometimes you don't have the volume that, that you kind of hope. Um, he would say the same thing. We, we've been, he's been doing this a lot longer than I have. Uh, it doesn't affect me. I love him. He knows that. I think, uh, you know, that, that the phase of the team, the stage of the team, sort of like where he is placed. He coaches hard, he moves on, and, uh, you know, inflicting whatever we might have inflicted tonight. I do remember that looking up at a scoreboard here not many years ago and looking at, like, I was trying to do the math. I think we were down 50. And so, you know, I don't really have any reaction to, to, uh, to your question, I suppose. Stars and double figures plus for a call defense as well. Just one the overall offensive foot and I out keep with that tonight. One more time. Five guys and double figures, five starters plus for a con off the bench with uh, 13. Just talking about the offense now, and kind of spread out tonight. 
I mean, I thought our offense was was pretty good. I thought I thought James and Ferk, you know, Ferk started, but I think you know I'm always looking at Ferk and James as sort of people that we brought off the bench. I thought those two guys did a good job. I, I thought like we we were efficient in, in in a lot of the guys executed a lot of uh, the play call type stuff well. I was proud of that. I think that our turnovers, you know, Joe, I think had four and Ben five or four and five. You know, we're always trying to bring that down. I feel like when I look at the turnovers, I, I never just go to the number. It's always the how. And, and, and we tried to force the post a lot and, and produced a lot of those turnovers. You know, on high lows when they're fronting, when we can, like, fake it and punish a corner. Uh, but I think in general, you know, we played pretty good offense, and I thought we did a pretty good job of, uh, of, of executing uh, our play calls. So Tobias only took two shots the other night against the Knicks in the second half. Tonight it seemed like he was a lot more aggressive, a lot more intent on getting his looks. Did you see that tonight? And is that something you really would like to see more of? I mean, I've said what i said many times. I want him to find the rim. You know, I want him to always think score. You know, are you open on a flare? Shoot it. You're six foot nine. Do you know can, if they close you out hot? Like, can you put it on the floor? Go catch, catch, go stuff, and scrape or sweep and go buy somebody body, body ball and look to dunk or drop off. But it's born out of find the rim. And then you know you got a green light, and it's 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 a jump shooter, it's a driver, it's a drop off guy, it's a proactive downhill mentality. And uh, that's what we need from him. That's what I'm trying to, to grow and always encourage. He's a very selfless player to begin with. So it's not, you know, always like, you know, he's not a pig scorer. He's not that at all. And I want him to be aggressive. I thought tonight, you know, he tried to impact the game in several ways with that attack mentality. When James has a night like he did tonight, uh, shooting five of six, or Mike the other night, four of six from deep, does it give you a sense of comfort or excitement to see your bench vets doing that stuff? In, 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 to win in the NBA, you, you better have that. You know, other, otherwise, it's just there's not going to be enough co contribution, I don't think. Even if you have some good games from most people, you're going to need that contribution off the bench, bottom line. And really, if you get granular, I think you're going to need contribution from, the, from behind the three-point line. You're going to need to make some threes. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy how we did that. Serena. You noted uh, Ben taking control last game. I wonder how you assess his game tonight. I, I thought defensively he did some great things. Like when he sits down and he level, the term I use is level. When he sits down and can level, you know, DeMar and like chest him and beat him to a spot and level him off and level him off. I thought defensively he had some tremendous like two, th two, two three step slides on leveling. Um, how we played him, you know, we went under some pick and rolls, and so trying to beat him at a spot and chest up and level, uh, I thought stood out in pick and roll defense. You know, I think that his pace and his just activity, I see him growing uh, completely uh, from a leadership perspective as much as what we might see in the game. You know, they went out and they started fouling him. He, he, he missed his first few, and I, and I didn't blink either, and he went to the line, and I was prepared to live with that. And, uh, you know, to his credit, he, he started making some after that first wave. Close it down, Serena. My question related to Ben's defense, but that play where Ben and James both go up for the rebound <coughs> turnover, but the next play, James comes out, denies Portable, and gets that steal. What does that say about how he can flip that switch? It was like he was going to make sure that yeah. he was going to get that back. Uh, I, I mean, I see it in him. When he when he missed some free throws, it didn't surprise me like he was going to come back and make some. It's uh, he he doesn't melt. Ben Simmons does not melt, and I think that he there's an inner strength and confidence that I see at a young age that that he 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 bounces back. And whether it's that or what I just said, and many other instances I can point to, I think that's his spirit. I think that's his nature. It's how he's wired. And uh, you have to be in this league. You really have to be if you want to attain the success that, that we and he hope to, uh, to maintain and grow on. Thank you.